Hello guys, Charles here. Welcome back to my channel. This is the second video on hybrid scales. I will quickly recap the concept, but we're going to be using exactly the same concept as we did in the first video. You can watch the entire concept up here. But today we're going to be looking at minor seven chord type instead of the major seven that we used in the previous examples. So there are three sections to the hybrid scale concept. The first is taking scales that we know are supposed to work over that chord type, two or three scales of our choice, and combining them together into a, a master scale that we call our hybrid scale. The second step is to look within that new hybrid scale for any other familiar scales that exist within it and experiment with those tonalities. The third and final step is to look for any scales that are nearly in the hybrid scale and add one or two chromatic notes that weren't in the hybrid scale to finish off those partial scales. The point of a hybrid scale is not to sound good. If nothing else, think of this as an ear training exercise, teaching your ear to hear specific chromaticisms over a tonal sensor. As I've said many times before on this channel, what happens in the practice room stays in the practice room. This is not a concept that you're going to be thinking about when you're playing live. When you're playing live, you should just be freewheeling it, completely relaxed, just seeing what happens in the moment. You may find that these hybrid scale concepts naturally come out in your playing without you thinking about it. If that happens, brilliant. You may also find that these concepts never come out in your playing, and that's equally good. But remember that the ear training side of this exercise and understanding your chromaticisms is a universal skill that will be applied at all times. All of today's examples are played over a backing track, which is essentially just a C minor seven vamp. I've chosen three scales, which I think most of you would probably instinctively play over a C minor seven. The first is a C Aeolian, the second is a C Dorian, and the third is a C blues scale. When we combine those three scales together into a hybrid scale, we create a scale which has this very interesting chromaticism in it in the middle, and that's really the, the money stuff, that's the juicy stuff in the middle. So in this example, I'm trying to really highlight that chromatic stuff. These next examples are scales that by chance existed within our hybrid scale. I haven't had to add any extra notes. These scales just happened to live within the notes of our hybrid scale. We've got a few different scale types here. We've got a harmonic minor, we've got melodic minors, and we've got some pentatonic scales. So if you notice any other scales within that, try those out as well. Let me know down below if there's any I haven't spotted yet, but there'll be many more in there that I haven't stumbled across.
These final few examples are scales that were almost in our hybrid scale. I have had to add one or two outside notes to complete the scale, but the majority of the scale was there. Therefore, I'm just going to experiment with the sound, training my ear to add in non-diatonic notes, chromatic notes, and see the effect they have on our playing. <laughs> So there were some really interesting sounds in that hybrid scale I felt. Some sounds worked better than others. Let me know your favourites down below. I hope you guys appreciate how effective this can be as an ear training exercise. It can be really scary to try and play outside notes and chromaticism and to have this framework and a method by which we can start to experiment with these sounds. I personally find that really reassuring. Uh, I've always found theory very supportive and just being left to my own devices a completely blank canvas is just overwhelming for me. So I like to experiment with things by using theories that I'm comfortable with, ideas that I've used before in the past, and just reframing them. Please like and subscribe and click that notification bell down below. And as always, I hope you guys are doing really, really well at this strange time, and I very much look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers. Roll up, roll up, let me embed a story you'll never forget. A Jeff, Jeff, you're drowning in debt now You can't buy your way out